Hey YouTubers, I thought I'd go ahead and do the update now on the <clears throat> basically unbelievable deal we ran across on these 50,000 mile original, so I'm saying original 50,000 mile takeoff 241 LS cylinder heads. Um, okay, when was the last time you saw a set of heads this clean just as factory takeoffs, let, or, let her alone a, th a 241 LS head? Um, they're sitting here back on the wall so I don't get off kilter there, but. We ran across a crazy deal on these 241 LS heads that we basically just could not pass up. I mean, the reason why I was going to run those 862 heads is because I had full intentions on uh, porting them out to a 215cc runner, which several people I had talked to said that, well, that's not really holding true to the kind of power that a stock 4.8 is going to make, because you're talking about putting a 215cc intake runner, 81 plus cc exhaust runner, on a stock 4.8 bottom end, and then saying, oh, I got a stock 4.8. I was like, okay. I said, I think it would be legitimate. It would be f more fair, let's say. We'll call it more fair. Because I do want to do the two inch intake valve. Budget constraints. Remember, I'm trying to build this on a budget. And when you're in the middle of a budget minded build just like this, when you run across 241 heads ready to run Basically, no machine work required. Throw my valve springs, retainers, locks, and seals on them, and I can bolt them to the engine for $100. Um, I'm not passing that up. Plus, that helps me stay on a budget restraint with my 4.8 turbo build. So, uh, let me show you this other head. I got it over here in the light, so it's a little bit easier to see. That way you can see the, you know, 241 casting. And look how freaking clean these heads are. I can't believe we found these cylinder heads. It was basically just a, you know, answer an ad or go to look at parts for something else. And then the guy's like, oh, you don't know anybody that, sorry. You don't know anyone that builds those LS motors, do you? Because we got a set of heads we pulled off of a, he goes, I don't even know if it had 50,000 miles on it, uh, Trans Am. And we upgraded to trick flow heads and some other crap. And uh, my friend Dave was there and he was like, well, I don't know, maybe. And then he contacted Richard. You know, long story short, we jumped on these things with both feet Cause I mean, I have, look how clean this head is. It doesn't even have road grime on it. And this is as it, this is exactly how it was removed from the vehicle. So as the factory spark plugs that are actually in good enough shape, I wouldn't be afraid to run them. I mean, if I needed to run a colder plug for boost, that's one thing. I said, these things are in great shape factory spark plug, super clean head. I'm just, I don't know. I didn't want to change too many things so that we could stay on the turbo agenda. Because we wanted to build a, a low budget 4.8 turbo, it was imperative that we stayed on budget. Yes, it would have made a huge difference having fully ported, you know, 215cc runner heads on a 4.8.
but it's not really a true representation of what you could expect by trying to bolt together a low budget turbo build. Keep in mind, I'm gonna run these 241 heads, which do have the 200cc intake runner, have the two, two inch and 155 exhaust valves, which matches the 4.8 stock head, or I'm sorry, the 155 matches, but the two inch would be the small upgrade. Um, these heads are readily available, so I don't feel like I'm bolting on something that only I could build. Whereas if I use the fully ported 862s, that's not really fair to anybody else that wants to try to build something similar, because not everybody else can do what I do to heads. And that could add a, a tremendous amount of money to the budget that somebody else wouldn't be able to copy. So I think what I'm gonna do, because I am battling with the staying on task with trying to do the turbo build as dependable and strong, as low budget as I can, I'm gonna go with these low mileage 241 heads. I'm gonna have to change the valve seals on them only because my dual valve springs won't fit over the factory guide seals. So I'll change the, the positive seals, install my dual springs, retainers, and locks, and basically run them. I'm gonna run a, a straight edge over them, make sure they don't need to be surfaced. And I'm trying my best, not the, hoping I don't have to, because that adds $90 to the cylinder head part of the build just to have them surfaced. But if they do need to be surfaced, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the 90 bucks and get them done because I'd much rather not blow a head gasket and have to dick with all that all the time. Pardon my French parental guidance on that one. But I just wanted to be honest, full disclosure, trying to tell everybody everything I'm doing. And I'm gonna go ahead and run these 241 heads because they're in such great shape. They've got the bigger intake valve I wanted and the price I don't consider it a good old boy price because we didn't know that guy. It wasn't like a deal where we worked out a trade and some friend of ours helped us out like they do in magazines. We didn't know that guy from Adam. And he was like, well, how much you want from him? He's like, well, I don't know, $100 too much? Dude, if you could find deals like that all day, we'd all be millionaires, so. Anyway, that's the next update in the Turbo Saga. And I just wanted to let you guys know what I'd found and where I was headed. Thank you.